system from the carpenter shop and I want to talk to you about some simple tools that we have in our workshop. Some of the tools I have can get kind of tricky, kind of complex, very dangerous. Uh, some of these are dangerous, they'll cut you very fast, but these are basically simple tools. And I want to start out with this right here. Uh, I've got a couple basic screwdrivers in my uh, toolbox. In fact, I have several of each type of these. This is a simple uh, slot headed screwdriver that will screw these type of screws with the slots. Um, this is a flat headed screwdriver as opposed to a Phillips head. Notice how that looks. It looks like a, like a cross and it would drive that kind of a screw down into some lumber. Uh, they also make attachments for these for drills and again very very uh, very simple to use. I also have different kind of sandpapers here um, and it's kind of interesting that when you pick up sandpaper in a store the lower the number the heavier the grid. If you have a project that you uh, want to sand you might want to start out with something very high like a 220 that's very fine sandpaper or I'm sorry, a uh, brand new project, start with the heaviest first, like a, a 50 or an 80 grade, and then work your way down to 100, um, maybe um, work way up, excuse me, to 100, maybe 150, 120, and then a 220, and then this one here is very fine, this is a 220 right here. Um, these are all very important, you don't want to start, you'll sand all day long if you take a new project and sand it with very fine sandpaper, so you need heavier coarse sandpaper first. That's very simple to have and once you have sandpaper you'll have it for a long time. Also here's some different saws that I have in my workshop. This is a coping saw. Notice the angles. That's for going around in a circle. Going around a curve and again very versatile. Notice how thin the blade is on this. This is a hacksaw. This is perfect for PVC pipe or maybe small metal pipe. Again, uh, it's very hard back. You put some pressure on it and that will go right through almost anything you want to cut with it. This saw here is a hard back saw and you use this saw if you want to do angles. It's a very hard back as we see. You can't bend it at all. Like some of the other ones you can bend like this is very versatile. You can bend it. Not this. That's very hard and you can go at an angle if you have the right kind of um, jigs to do it with. Also, the, again, these are just simple saws. Also, there's different kind of clamps I have. Uh, I got some very small clamps, if you notice, very tiny clamps. And then they get bigger. And then they get bigger yet. This is a four inch clamp, four inches from here to here. And then here is one here that's a little bit bigger. This is five inch right here, going from this point to this point. And then if you have a big project, time to break out the big boys. Here's a pony clamp and you can clamp together some long pieces of lumber and then screw it where it's going to be tight. There you go. And uh, then you can screw together pieces of lumber for a table or anything else large you want to build. <clears throat> These are some simple tools. I have one more tool I want to share with you, however. This is the best, most simple, simple tool in my whole workshop, and that is the Bible. The Bible is a simple book. Even a child can understand the stories, but yet it's challenging enough for a university professor to read it and gain a lot of wisdom. Very simple book, many parables and stories of Christ, the things he did in Galilee and Jerusalem and around Israel. Wonderful Old Testament stories about God working through the Israelites. Read this book to be wise. Start with the book of John in the Gospels. Maybe jump over to Matthew or Mark or Luke and read those books and see if you think it's simple or not. God wants himself to be revealed and he's done so by sending us this book. Read it to be wise. This has been Wisdom from the Carpenter Shop and this has been a time where we discuss simple tools for you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.